I am so over this. 22 degrees, feels like it's 18. This is day what? Seven May? Day seven of snow, a full week. The snow wasn't bad at all. Snow was great. The problem is the below freezing temps that came in around Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, today, that have just wreaked havoc with this ice. They're just ice everywhere on the back roads like the primary roads are great highways fantastic uh but back roads nope no bueno and that's all it's been it's just kind of waiting for things to thaw out even though they're not going to thaw out and then just trying to clean up where you can we got a mess to clean up from sledding just so much and i'm so over the white like usually Tennessee it's a blessing when you get snow you get it it's beautiful like I said for a couple days and it's gone you don't have to deal with it it's not a headache it's become a headache so I'm over it I'm over it I'm ready for the 50s and the 40s and give me some rain rain would be fantastic which I think we're getting some next week wash all this stuff away and then maybe we could have one last little snowfall and then let's get to spring that's what I'm I'm hoping for that's a problem I had a neighbor tell me the best time to plant grass seed is after it snows. Because then when it melts, it sows it perfectly into the ground. Never done it. I did it. We'll see if it works or if he was just blowing smoke up my... We'll say with the snow, it's much easier. Much easier to pick up the dog poop because you know where it is. Which one of you likes this spot? Somebody really likes this spot. And I hate for it to even sound like I'm complaining because I love the snow. Like I, I, I hope for snow during the winter time. I love the season of snow. It just, when it goes on seven days and turns to ice, it's a little annoying. Those little two, three day things are fantastic. But when, this is the first time we've had ice. Like it's bad ice where people can't get out of their driveways off their back roads i love the snow so i don't like to i don't want it to come off like i'm complaining i'm not complaining it's just there's just extra work to be done around here and that's that's all right because because i enjoy it because it's gonna be gone and then spring will be here everything will start to grow allergies will come in then it's gonna be hot as heck then we're gonna be hoping for cold it's just the cycle that's all it is so um we've actually been pretty lucky it looks like we're going back up into the 50s and 60s this week and we've got a lot of rain coming like i said even even as much as i talk about it's still like it's so pretty to look, look at this you come out to that yard like you see the deer walking across it it's just the coolest thing like it's just it's, it's just cool it's very cool so i got the kids out they drove around finally for the first time that's all done cleaned up around the yard planted Plant of grass seed. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. We're gonna find out. The garage is still frozen over. Babs can't do laundry, so she's super bummed. I gotta fix that. We'll fix that this year. Like I said, kids got out. Maryville's on a, a delayed start tomorrow. Oak Ridge is out again just because the back roads are so bad and they can't get the buses up and down these roads. So we'll see how it goes. I think UT canceled classes tomorrow as well. Get over here, you're in a I'm no one ran through the water. Where are we going? To see the monster trucks. Monster trucks? I thought they were Hot Wheels. They um, are Hot Wheels, but they're also monster trucks. Get that one, get that one. Oh! So Bigfoot was around when I was a kid, back in the 1900s.
All right, that was that was a blast. The kids had so much fun. It's not monster trucks that I remember from when I was a kid, but then again, that was like at the Rose Bowl, and I think we saw them at the Coliseum too. So you're outdoors. You have the huge, you know, football field area. That was in Thompson Bowling. I'm sorry. Food City Center at Thompson Bowling Arena. So that's kind of impressive because that's a really small area that's used for like a basketball court or a concert. And that's why they kind of had to maneuver the trucks around and stuff. But it was really cool seeing Bigfoot. Like Bigfoot is still a thing. That's why I was like joking with her like back in the 1900s. I mean, it was in the 1900s, but it's not that long ago. But Bigfoot, what? It's a 74 F-250, I think. It's a pretty cool truck. Pretty cool, but it's fun that they still do them and like they're Hot Wheels now, so they're even more fun for the kids. And the motocross, like bringing the motorcycles in and the backflips and everything always gets the kids going. Just a fun family event. That's a fun family event for Hot Wheels. Kids tickets, I think, are super cheap, like 15 bucks and then the adult tickets are 30. Um, but still, it's a good time to go out. It was a little slow, took a little while, but that's just because of the way the uh, Thompson Bowling Arena is, and they, it's so small they had to move around. But still, it's fun. I recommend it. Like, I recommend it. It's a good time to take the kids, especially to get out there and get some noise and smell racing fuel and all that good stuff. So, hopefully the snow will start to melt tomorrow. Looks like we got warm temps, and then we'll be back to bipolar weather of Tennessee, and then we're going to warm up and then get some rain, and we'll be out of a drought, which we've been in a drought. Um, and no snow on the horizon for at least until the end of February, probably. So we'll be good. But that is it from East Tennessee, y'all.